Hi, reader. It's the Reading Bug. Today's episode of Reading Bug Adventures is sponsored by Imagination Press, part of the American Psychological Association. Imagination Press publishes innovative books for kids to help deal with the challenge of growing up. Their books feature sensitive, lively, and sometimes humorous writing, along with exquisite, evocative illustrations. And their books often feature tips for grown-ups in the back by a Ph.D. psychologist. Learn more at imaginationpress.org. And be sure to shop for books from Imagination Press at thereadingbug.com or your local independent bookstore. Hello, reader. Welcome back to another Reading Bug Adventure. This week, it's a bonus full story episode of our action-packed ninja adventure. Thanks for listening. Reading Bug Adventures is created, written, and produced by The Reading Bug, our family-owned children's bookstore. If you'd like to learn more about us, our store, and our mission, you can visit and shop at thereadingbug.com. And moms and dads, if our adventures get your child inspired to read more and continue their adventures... Be sure to visit ReadingBugBox.com to find out all about our monthly book subscription. Every Reading Bug Box is full of books handpicked by me and other members of our staff and perfectly matched to the child's unique age and interests and reading level. And if you order before November 20th, you'll get an exclusive Reading Bug micro-squishable plush toy in your first box. Finally, before we begin our adventure, I need to say a few special thank yous. Our podcast is mixed and mastered by Resonate Recordings and made possible by our sponsors and listeners like you. If you'd like to support our work on future episodes, please visit our page at patreon.com. Patrons get access to music downloads, exclusive content, gifts, and more. Thanks to all our patrons for your support. Okay, reader, are you ready to go on an exciting, action-packed adventure with me and the reading bug today? Then what are we waiting for? Let's fly! It's time for a Reading Bug Adventure! It's a Reading Bug Adventure There's lots of fun in store Just inside our book bag There's new places to explore Grab your crayons and paper And your imaginations too The Reading Bug and I can't wait To share our trip with you Hi, reader. I'm Lauren, and I'm so glad to see you again. I'm waiting for the reading bug to join us for another great adventure. And I hope you're coming along with us, too. You are? Great. I wonder where we'll be adventuring today. Do you have any guesses? Well, we'll find out soon enough, as soon as the reading bug arrives with her magic book bag. Oh, look! There she is now. But wait. Look at what she's wearing. Are those pajamas? She's covered in a robe that's all black. And she's got a hood over her head. Reading Bug, over here. Hi, it's great to see you today. Oh, hi, Lauren. And hello to you too, Reader. I hope you're ready for our amazing adventure today. We're always ready for a great adventure, Reading Bug. But why are you dressed up like that? Wearing all that black, you look more like a beetle than a ladybug. I almost didn't recognize you. Very good question, Lauren. I'm wearing a costume for our adventure today. Want to guess where we'll be going together? Sure. Why don't you tell us the titles of some of the books in your book bag, and we can all guess where our adventure will take us today. Okay. The first book in my magic book bag is Ninja by Ari Chung. Oh, Ninja. Are you dressed in a ninja costume reading bug? You look great. Thanks. And you're right, Lauren. But do you know where we're going on our adventure? Hmm. Are we going to visit a ninja school, maybe? I'd love to learn kung fu or karate. Or, hmm, what do ninjas study at ninja school anyway? There are lots of different martial arts taught and practiced all over the world. Maybe you've heard of or even learned some of them, like karate, taekwondo, kung fu, or aikido. Reader, have you heard of any of those? Well, Ninjas practice martial arts, too. A discipline called ninjutsu, which is the ancient art of shadow warriors of Japan. I bet it would be a lot of hard work and a lot of fun to study ninjutsu. But I don't think that's where my book bag will be taking us. No? Well then, I guess you better tell us what other books are in your book bag. Of course, Lauren. 
I've got Moby Shinobi, Ninja on the Job by Luke Flowers, The Secret of Ninja School by Deb Pilotti, and Jack B. Ninja by Tim McKenna. Hmm, I'm still not sure, Reading Bug. I also brought Secret Agent Jack Stalwart, The Theft of the Samurai Sword by Elizabeth Singer Hunt, Granny Samurai by John Chambers, and Sam Samurai, Time Warp Trio by John Chezka. Wow! This sounds like it's going to be an incredible adventure, Reading Bug. You've got books about ninjas and samurai. So we must be adventuring in Japan, right? That's right. Both samurai and ninjas lived, trained, and fought in medieval Japan. Medieval Japan. So that means there are no ninjas or samurai today? Exactly. In order to see and learn about ninjas and samurai, my book bag will need to take us back in time about 1,000 years. Back to the age of the samurai. The age of the samurai? What about the ninjas? Great question, Lauren. We call it the age of the samurai because samurai were part of the wealthy ruling class, serving powerful wealthy landowners and fighting like soldiers on their behalf. But there were also ninjas in Japan during that same time. Unlike samurai, though, Ninjas mostly came from poor families who worked in the farms and villages. They trained differently, lived by a very strict code of conduct, and mostly worked for themselves, taking jobs from others who needed their skills and services. Despite their differences, ninjas and samurai had one thing in common. They trained hard, practicing martial arts, fighting techniques, and mental strength, and were in excellent shape. Before we head to Japan today, I think we should all make sure that we're feeling strong and prepared, just like a samurai or a ninja. What do you think? Great idea, Reading Bug. Let's all stretch our bodies out as we get ready for our adventure. Everybody, stand up, unless you're buckled into your car, of course, and let's wiggle our fingers and toes. Are you wiggling? Great! Now, stretch your arms up high over your head. Perfect! Stretch up high, touch the sky, crouch down low and wiggle your toes. Swing your arms from side to side, let's get ready to go. Stretch up high, touch the sky, crouch down low and wiggle your toes. Swing your arms from side to side, now we're ready to go. Okay, I feel much better and ready to adventure now. Do you? We're nearly ready to go, but before we start our adventure, I hope you remembered to bring some paper and crayons with you. On our adventures, we use crayons and paper to draw pictures of all the things we see and do, just like an illustrator in our favorite picture book. When our adventure is over, our illustrations can help us retell the story to all our friends and family. At the end of this podcast, we'll take time to listen to music and draw pictures that are in our imaginations. If you didn't remember paper and crayons, don't worry. Just press pause or have a grown-up do it for you and get them now. The Reading Bug and I will wait right here for you. Okay, Lauren, reader, are you ready to travel across the Pacific Ocean to the island country of Japan? Great! Let's take a trip back in time to Japan today. My book bag will help us find the way. We'll meet ninjas, samurai, and a daimyo or two as we travel on the Japanese Isle of Honshu. Look! Reader, the reading bug is opening up her book bag. It's growing in size, bigger and bigger, so that we'll be able to fit right inside. Wow, look inside the bag. As it opens, there are pictures, lights, and words swirling around in there from all the amazing books about Japan and the age of the samurai that the reading bug brought with her today. What do you see in there, reader? I see pictures of men dressed in heavy armor and large helmets shaped like devils and dragons. Do you see them too? The men are dressed in long robes carrying bows and arrows, swords and shields. I bet those are samurai warriors, but I'm not sure I'd want to meet one. They don't look very nice at all. I also see a beautiful young girl dressed in layers upon layers of colorful silk and wearing a beautiful purple necklace. And look over there! There are boys and girls playing sword fight, using wooden swords dressed in costumes like the reading bugs, and they're pretending to be stealthy ninja fighters. I also see flute players, monks, dancers, 
drummers, puppeteers, and cherry trees in full bloom. All right, reader, it's time to hop into my book bag together. Let's flap our bug wings and fly. Hop three times with me, then into my book bag. Here we go. One hop, two hops, three hops, and we're in. Let's jump inside our book bag. What will we find there? Imaginations run away. What's in our book bag, our trusty book bag? What will we learn about today? Oh my, look what's happening, reader. Lights are flashing brighter and brighter, and the houses and trees all around us are disappearing as the book bag takes us back in time and across the globe to the age of the samurai in Japan. And just like that, all the land and roads and houses are gone, and we're out over a vast open ocean. Look around, reader. I can't see land anywhere, can you? Just water as far as my eyes can see. Hey, what's that up ahead? Do you see the sprinkling of dots in front of us? I think that might be land. I think you're right, Lauren. Those must be some of the almost 7,000 islands that make up the country of Japan. The islands are full of tall, steep, and rocky mountains, though. It hardly looks like anyone could live there. I sure hope you're wrong, Reading Bug, because we're coming in for a landing quickly. And I really hope we're going to get to see some samurai and ninjas today. Wow, I'm not sure where we are, Lauren, but one thing's for sure, we're not at home anymore. Reader, why don't we climb out of the book bag and see where we've landed? Ready? Okay, everybody out. Oh my, look how beautiful it is here, Reader. The book bag has landed in a valley, surrounded by those tall, craggy mountains we saw when we were approaching. The sun is shining brightly, and in the distance to our left are trees covered in beautiful white blossoms. It's a beautiful day for an adventure, and I can't wait to start exploring. Oh, reader, reading bug, look! Up there to our right, do you think that's a castle perched up on that hill? Yes, Lauren, I think it might be. That castle is surrounded by lots and lots of smaller buildings, which could be the cottages where people who work in the castle live. The castle is so beautiful. It has one, two, three, four, five, six stories. And each floor is a little bit smaller than the one below it. So the castle is shaped kind of like a triangle. It's not like any castle I've ever seen before. Each floor has lovely pointed eaves and turrets that are painted a different color from the rest of the building. So the castle looks a little bit like a cake with icing piped along the edges of each of the castle's stories. Reading Bug, if that's a castle, maybe the book bag has landed us in the wrong place. Are you sure this is Japan, Reading Bug, and not perhaps somewhere in Europe? No, I'm certain we're in Japan, just like the books in my book bag, Lauren. You see, about 1,000 years ago, Japan was a feudal society. That means that it was ruled by an emperor, which is kind of like a king. Oh, I see. Then, during the age of the samurai, the emperor appointed his greatest samurai warrior to govern Japan, and the shogun divided the country up into smaller pieces of land. Oh, sort of like the states in the United States today. Exactly. But unlike states, each piece of land in feudal Japan was ruled over by a powerful warlord called a daimyo. Each daimyo had a whole army of samurai who swore to fight only for their daimyo protecting his wealth, and keeping others off his property. My book says that daimyos live in great big castles, so I think that castle must belong to the daimyo who owns the property we're standing on right now. Really? Yikes! I don't want to come face to face with an army of samurai. Why don't we get moving before we're spotted? That's a really good idea, Lauren. Samurai warriors are very fierce and very scary, and if we can see the daimyo's castle from here, there's a good chance that the daimyo and his samurai can see us. But which way should we go? The path in front of us goes to our left and our right. Hmm. Well, if we walk to the right, I think we'll be on our way to the castle once we cross the stream over there. And if we walk to the left, it looks like the path runs through some brilliant green fields and orchards, past the trees covered with white budding flowers. 
Do you see them just beyond the bend there, reader? I don't know where that path would lead us, but it must be better than heading straight for the daimyo's castle and a samurai army. Don't you think? Wait, reader, Lord, did you hear that? Who's there? Don't be silly, reading bug. There's no one here but us. No, Lauren, I not only heard something just then, I felt it too. I'm certain there's somebody else nearby. Didn't you hear it too? Well, I did feel something, but it was so quiet and so quick that I'm sure it couldn't have been a person. Reader, what do you think? hi ah! Okay, okay, you're right, reading bug. Someone or something is definitely nearby. What could have made that awful shriek? Please, we're friends, not enemies. On a reading bug adventure, show yourself. If you cannot see, but only hear a hi-ya, the ninja is near. Lauren, reader, look, it's a, a, a ninja. He's dressed all in black with soft black shoes and a black mask covering his eyes, just like the costume I'm wearing. And unless my mind is playing tricks on me, that ninja just appeared out of thin air. Hello, uh, sir. Please don't attack us. We are friendly travelers, here only to adventure and to experience the sights and culture of feudal Japan. Ninja's enemies are abundant as blossoms on a cherry tree. Yes. Yes, I think I understand. You have many enemies, so why should you trust us? Is that right? I'm Lauren, and this is the reading bug and our reader friend. We have traveled far on our adventure. A ninja's fast friend is one who offers a gift and not their sharp sword. Lauren, reader, I think this ninja wants a gift from us to prove we're friendly. Do you have anything to offer? Well, no. I didn't bring anything with me. But maybe I can help offer a song as our gift to you. Reader, reading bug, help me to sing to the ninja. My friends and I have traveled far to learn about just who you are. We hope you'll help us be strong and wise to learn the way of ninjas and samurais. We promise to listen and we will prove that we can learn how a ninja moves. We want to learn all you have to teach with your help. This won't be out of reach. We've traveled back years through time and space to learn all about this special place. We need someone to show us around and you're the ninja that we found. We come in peace and have no fear. We hope that we'll be welcome here on this beautiful land that you protect. You're the only ninja we've ever met. Thank you for such a lovely song, friends. Yours was a true gift of friendship. The gift of song is more valuable even than riches or jewels. My name is Dano, and it is my pleasure to meet friends on this journey. I am so frequently expecting enemies. May I offer you a haiku in return? Haiku? Oh, yes! I've read about haiku. Haiku is a very short Japanese poem of just three lines, and each line has a very specific number of syllables. Do you know what a syllable is, reader? A syllable is a B in the words we speak. Lauren has two syllables, Lauren. And Reading Bug has three syllables, Reading Bug. And Magic Book Bag has four syllables, Magic Book Bag. See? A haiku has five syllables in the first line, seven syllables in the second line, and five syllables in the last line. That's right, little bug. 
Before your song, I spoke with you only in haiku, and here is another as a gesture of my friendship. Friends on a journey feed the heart and feed the soul more than even food. Beautiful. Thank you, Dano. We are all honored to meet you and call you friend. Thanks for your kindness. Great haiku, Lauren. Thanks. Dano, we were just headed toward the path on our left so we wouldn't be spotted by the daimyo and his samurai in the castle there. We told you about our adventure, but what are you doing out here? Aren't you worried about being spotted by the daimyo and his samurai? I am on my way to meet the daimyo and his samurai army, in fact. I am traveling unseen and unheard down the path to the right until I reach the castle. The daimyo here is a vain and greedy man, and he doesn't like strangers, but I will share a secret with you. If you flatter this daimyo with compliments and capitulations, you will quickly become his friend. Oh, that doesn't sound so bad, I guess, as long as we're nice to the daimyo. And what about the path to the left, Dano? I have just come from the path to our left. In that direction is the city of Kyoto, where our emperor lives. It is a magical city, but the trip to Kyoto is long and strenuous, and there is very little food, water, or shelter on the way. The choice is yours, of course, but I think you are more likely to find shelter, food, and protection if you follow me towards the castle. Uh, Dano, I don't know how to ask this, and I don't mean to sound impolite, but your teeth... They are as black as coal. On one of our other adventures, we met pirates whose teeth were green because they never brushed them. Is that why your teeth are all black? <laughs> I don't think so, Lord. I read in Samurai Shortstop that Samurai warriors sometimes dyed their teeth black because they thought that white teeth were ugly. Yes, correct again, Reading Bug. Samurai dye our teeth to cover them when they start to turn yellow. The dye that we use also helps make our teeth stronger and prevent cavities. Have you ever had a cavity? I hope not. They can be very painful. Wait just a minute, Dano. Did you say samurai? I thought you were a ninja. You're certainly dressed like one. Lauren, you are a very good listener and very observant. You would make a very good ninja. I am a ninja, but I wasn't always one. I was once a powerful samurai warrior who pledged my loyalty to the daimyo in the castle ahead of us. But the wealthier my daimyo became, the more greedy he became, forcing his samurai to steal from his people, banish the poor, and fight to increase his power, status, and land. I could not, in good conscience, follow my daimyo's orders, so I made my escape and have been training and living as a ninja ever since. But if you escaped... Why are you returning now? Another very good question. You too would make a good ninja, Reading Bug. Thank you. I am on a mission to rescue my sister, Fumiko, from the daimyo's castle. When I left, my greatest regret was not being able to take her with me. So I vowed one day to return and steal her away with me. Oh, Dano, I'm sorry. It sounds like your daimyo is not a nice man. And I'm so sorry your sister was unable to escape with you. Is there anything we can do to help? I hesitate to ask this of you, for I know the mission is a dangerous one, but a foolish ninja chooses to struggle alone when friends are nearby. Might you consider helping me rescue my sister? I'd need to train you in the ways of the ninja, of course, but you've already shown curiosity, intelligence, and courage, and I'm sure you'll all make terrific ninjas. Yes, yes, of course we'd love to be trained as ninjas. Whoa, not so fast, Reading Bug. You heard Dano. This one could be dangerous. Are you sure you want to go? On one hand, Dano is our friend and his sister is in trouble. On the other hand, a mean daimyo and his powerful samurai army await us. Yikes! What do you think, Reader? Okay, we'll do it. Dano, what do you need us to do? Wonderful. Thank you to all of you. In return for your bravery, I swear an oath to protect you. Before we go, however, you must train in the ways of the ninja. A good ninja is stealthy, observant, and powerful. And before we go on this dangerous mission together, I will need to train you in these three disciplines. 
stealth, observation, and power. You will need to pay close attention to quickly master these skills. Are you ready? Yes! Okay. First is stealth. When I approached you on the road, it seemed as if I was appearing out of nowhere. But that is only because I was traveling quickly and quietly. You too must be stealthy, which means silent and fast. And being stealthy begins in the mind. In the mind? Yes. Not all ninja training is about kicks and punches, Reading Bug. To train the body, we must first train the mind. To become stealthy like a ninja, first imagine yourself becoming something very, very quiet. A cloud, perhaps. Or a feather. Or a puff of cotton. I like to imagine that I am becoming a gust of wind. Are you imagining something quiet? Great. Now, close your eyes and imagine your whole body transforming into that very quiet thing. I'll count to ten while you imagine your body slowly changing. One, two, three. Your legs are now completely transformed. Four, five, six. Now your arms and your body. Seven, eight, nine, ten. And finally your neck and your head. Great work. I can sense a stillness in each of you. You have learned very quickly. Thank you, Dano. I feel peaceful, quiet, and relaxed. Great. Now, still imagining you're transformed into whatever silent thing you imagined, move your body about quietly with me. Lift one leg. Now the other. Good. Stretch your arms. Excellent. Wiggle your body. Great. Practice doing it faster and faster, but never speak and keep your movements as quiet as possible. Excellent work. For new ninjas, you are doing very well. Raider, you're doing great. I can barely sense you next to me. You're so quiet and stealthy. Great job. The next ninja skill for us to master is observation. Ninjas must be able to sense all the things around them so they are aware of any signs of danger. To master observation, stand still and listen to all the sounds around you. Using sound alone, you should be able to tell what and where everything is around you. Are you ready? Good. Now stand still and just listen. Did you hear that? Great. Tell me, what was it? And where? That sounds like a, a fly, just behind me and to my right. Very good, young grasshopper. I'm not a grasshopper. Let's be silent and listen again. Did you hear that as well? Wonderful. What do you think it was? It sounded like a duck. To my left, but pretty far away. Correct again. You're doing wonderfully. You are all very skilled at observation and on your way to becoming exceptional ninjas. Thank you, Dano. This is fun. Yes, Reading Bug, it is fun. But remember, we may need to use these skills when we face great danger. So pay attention as we work to master the final skill, power. Power is our last resort. Ninjas must always have power, but should rarely use it. It is best used in self-defense to help us make a hasty getaway from those who might do us harm. To find and master your power, repeat my words and do exactly as I say. Here we go. Ninjas practice jumping high. Can you jump and touch the sky? A jump may save your life, you see, when you're face to face with a samurai bully. 
jump like this. Hiya, hiya, hiya! Hiya, hiya, hiya! Very good jumping, Lauren and Reading Bug. You too, Reader. Ninjas kick when they fight. First the left leg, then the right. Kicks break doors and windows too. It's amazing what a kick can do. Kick, kick, kick. Hiya, hiya, hiya. Hiya, hiya, hiya. Those are very powerful kicks. Now let's practice using our hands. Your hands have power when they slash through the air. They are weapons that your enemies fear. If you can't break a plank with your hands and your feet, you'll be able to split it when your training's complete. Kick and slash. Hiya, hiya, hiya. Hiya, hiya, hiya. Excellent. Your training is almost complete. We work hard on our ninja drills to perfect our ninja fighting skills. Getting strong makes us braver too, so we can rescue Fumiko like good ninjas do. Congratulations, my friends. You performed admirably and demonstrated great mastery of the skills of stealth, observation, and power. As your sensei, I am pleased to say that you are now trained in the ways of the ninja. And we can depart on our journey to save Fumiko from the daimyo. Lauren, reader, did you hear that? We're ninjas! <laughs> yes, and I am proud to fight alongside you. Lauren, reading bug, reader, it is important that you remember each of these skills, as I am sure you will need all of them on our adventure today. Now, friends, are you prepared to head down the path with me towards the castle? Keep alert, for there may be danger along the way. We're ready, Dano. Maybe as we walk, you can tell us more of you and your sister's story? My story begins when my twin sister Fumiko and I were born to a samurai family that served Suzuki Masataki, the daimyo who lives in the castle ahead of us. Until we were six years old, Fumiko and I lived in our family's home, where we practiced sword fighting together and played together deep into the night. I love my sister and I would do anything for her. When we turned six, however, I was sent away from my home and from my sister to attend samurai school. You see, Fumiko could not follow, even though she was smarter, faster, and a better fighter than me, because girls do not become samurai. It broke Fumiko's heart, and mine too, that she could not attend samurai school with me, and that we would be separated from each other. I did not see Fumiko again for many years after that. Oh, damn it. I'm sorry. After many years of samurai training, my sensei, that's a teacher, told a few of us boys that we were ready for our genpuku, the sacred ceremony where samurai boys exchange their childhood status and become men. And once I completed my genpuku, I was sent to work at the castle of my daimyo. Once there, like I said, I was required to swear loyalty to my daimyo by signing a contract with my own blood. The contract was then burned and the ashes dissolved in water, and I had to drink the water to seal the contract and commit to serving my daimyo forever. Ew, yuck, that sounds awful. It was, but not as awful as what I encountered next. The way of the warrior, or Bushido, requires absolute obedience. But Bushido is about much more than blind loyalty. Samurai are also required to be kind to the poor and respectful of all living things. But what I saw was that daimyo battle each other to increase their wealth and power, not to help their people. It is the people who pay the price for the daimyo's greed. When the daimyo go to war, families are lost or separated, towns are destroyed, and people starve while rice rots in the fields because there is no one to harvest it. I can see why you wouldn't want to participate in that, Dano. But it sounds like a very dangerous decision to defy your daimyo. Lauren, my sensei taught me that sometimes a man must do what is in his heart, not what others tell him. And my heart told me that my daimyo should not send his subjects into battle just to increase his own wealth and power. As a result, I decided that I could not follow his orders, even if that put my life in jeopardy. Dana, you are very brave and I admire your conviction, but... What about your sister? Oh, yes. As I said, my sister also serves this daimyo. 
My only joy in working for him was the occasions on which I was able to see my sister. Although we were not allowed to speak, just seeing her brought joy to my heart. I made my escape in the dead of night, unsure of where I would go or how I would live, but certain I could not serve this daimyo any longer. But where did you go when you escaped? I'm sure the daimyo and his samurai were looking for you. That's right. I hid in the forest, and after many months of living off berries and other food I could scavenge, and in constant fear of capture, I found a woman in another daimyo's landholding named Chiyomo. Chiyomo is a ninja and a trainer of ninjas who does not engage in combat or destroy homes or villages. Instead, Chiyomo teaches her ninjas to read and write. Some other ninjas engage in fighting, spying, kidnapping, and other evil acts. But Chiyomo's ninjas study self-defense, first aid, and survival skills. And they work hard to master their ninja skills like the ones I have taught you. What else do Chiyomo's ninjas learn? We learn how to boil wild plants to make a meal for the hungry and how to use rice wine as invisible ink to send secret messages. And we learn hensujutsu, the art of impersonation. After our training is complete, Chiyomo's ninjas return to their villages in disguise and secretly teach their skills to their friends and neighbors and help them break free of the oppression of their daimyos. Chiyomo is creating an invisible army of ninjas who use their skills and knowledge for the good of their communities. I trained with Chiyomo for many months, healing my mind and my soul. And that brings us to today. What an incredible story, Dano. So now you're planning on stealing your sister away from the daimyo too. And then where will you go? Yes, my sister Fumiko is too smart, too pure, and too skilled to serve a daimyo like Suzuki-san. My plan is to rescue her, and after that, I will take her to Chiyomo so that she can become a Chiyomo ninja too. That's right. Chiyomo also trains girls. In fact, most of her ninjas are girls. Oh, wow. Dano, that is a daring and noble plan. But it sounds even more dangerous than I thought. Stealing someone out from under your daimyo's nose is no easy task and is fraught with danger. Your story is very touching but my mind is racing with fear. I'm just not sure I'm brave enough to continue on this journey with you. Wait, where did Dano go? I heard a ping, saw a cloud of smoke, and then he vanished again. What's going on? Oh no, I think I see why Dano disappeared. Look up ahead. Do you see the daimyo's big burly samurai warriors coming towards us? Where could Dano have gone? Surely he didn't leave us all alone to fend for ourselves against this fierce samurai army. I can't believe that Dano betrayed us. How can we possibly save ourselves now? I thought Dano was our friend. Reader, can you help us figure out what to do before the samurai see us and it's too late? Great idea, Reading Bug. Reader, while you think of ways to get us out of this predicament and help us hide from the fast approaching and dangerous samurai, we're going to hear a brief word from this episode's sponsor. Today's episode of Reading Bug Adventures is sponsored by Imagination Press, creators of Yes I Can, A Girl and Her Wheelchair, by Kendra Barriott, Jacqueline Toner, and Claire Freeland. Yes I Can? I love that book. It's a story that helped me understand so much about friends who are different from me. That's right, Reading Bug. The book is about Carolyn. Like many kids her age, Carolyn loves animals and castles, and she helps out her mom and dad and even helps with her baby brother. But when Carolyn was born, her body did not work like most people's. She can't use her legs to walk, so she uses a wheelchair. In the book, Carolyn shows her classmates, and you too, reader, that she can do almost everything at school, but sometimes just has to do it differently. Yes, I Can is beautifully illustrated and a great story for any child to read and understand. Yes, friendship is so important. And you can buy Yes, I Can, A Girl in Her Wheelchair, and other great books from Imagination Press by visiting imaginationpress.org or shopping at thereadingbug.com or your local independent bookstore. Thank you, Imagination Press, for your support. Oh, hello! Welcome back, reader. I'm so glad you joined me back in feudal Japan. If you remember, we were on our way to the daimyo's castle when our new ninja friend Dano suddenly disappeared in a cloud of smoke, leaving us all alone here. That's right. And don't look now, but there's a dangerous looking samurai army heading right towards us. 
Without Dano here, what are we going to do? How will we ever escape? Quick, if we don't think of something fast, we'll surely be captured by these samurai. Or worse, what should we do, reader? Do you remember the three ninja skills? Stealth, observation, and power that Dano taught us? It looks like we might need to use them to defend ourselves against these scary samurai. They're nearly here, and they're certain to spot us any second now. I can't believe Dano abandoned us. I thought he was our friend. Reading bug, Lauren, reader. Shh, it's me, Dano. Don't worry, I didn't abandon you. Remember, I promised to protect you on our dangerous adventure. I've been here all along. I just became invisible to your eyes. Eyes will always see what the mind tells them to see, but stealth fools the mind. Remember, if we focus on being stealthy, we can become invisible and evade our enemies. Quickly, you must become invisible too before the Daimyo Samurai arrive. Oh, Dano, you are a sight for sore eyes. We thought you'd left us all alone here. But with your help, we are ready. Just tell us what to do. Okay, friends. It is time to put your ninja training to the test and see if we can defeat these samurai. Pay close attention and do what I say. Okay, Dano. First, we must remember to be stealthy so the samurai warriors will not be able to see or hear us. Quickly, imagine something that is very still and quiet. A cloud floating above us in the sky. A feather gently falling to the ground. The smell of a rose on a breeze. A soft ball of cotton? Yes, good reading bug. Reader, are you thinking of something very quiet now? Very good. Keep your focus, reader. And don't move. The samurai are almost here. That's right. You must focus on staying still and remaining quiet, even as the world around you becomes more noisy. Good ninjas can tune out the distractions of the world. Excellent focus. Now, as I count to 10, imagine your whole body transforming into the thing you are imagining. One, two, three. Your legs are now completely transformed. Four, five, six. Now your arms and your body. Seven, eight, nine, ten. And finally, your neck and head. Yo! This way, my samurai brothers. Hey, look, I think I see. Hey, wait, huh? What just happened? I could have sworn I saw some people just up ahead of us. <laughs> my brother, there is nothing here but the breeze. Hurry and stop joking around. We must continue down this path quickly. Daimyo has told us to find and capture the fearsome ninja, Dano. And we must hurry. He has escaped us once, but we won't let him get away this time. Reader, reading bug, Dano. Can you believe it? They walked right by us and didn't see us at all. They were so close, and I could almost reach out and touch them. Excellent work, all of you. You are truly great ninja students. I must admit, I was afraid you might not be able to disappear with so little training and with the samurai approaching us. But you were able to clear your mind and disappear from their view. Very wise ninjas choose to disappear, not fight, when they are able. That's right, Dano. Being stealthy and avoiding a fight was a much better choice than going up against those powerful samurai. We wouldn't have had a chance. Thanks for being a great teacher. I mean, <laughs> sensei. Great work, everyone. But we are only at the beginning of our journey, so we cannot celebrate our success yet. An unwise ninja celebrates successes before obtaining his goal. We must still enter the castle, distract the daimyo, and save Fumiko. And there's bound to be more danger at every turn. Are you ready to continue onward? We're ready. Great. 
Thank you. My friends, the next part of our journey will test our mastery of the ninja skill of observation. You will need to remain aware of your surroundings at all times in order to find Fumiko inside the castle and make your escape. Okay, Dano, but how will we get inside? Great question, Lauren. You heard the samurai. They know that I am nearby. I am not sure how the daimyo knows I'm here, but he may suspect you are with me as well. So we must take steps to disguise ourselves. I remember that ninjas study the art of impersonation, right? What did you call that again? Henso Jutsu? Very good, Reading Bug. And because you are now ninjas too, please take these disguises and put them on. A costume? How fun! I love dressing up. Oh, look, Reader! My costume has bright red pants with very wide legs and gold stitching on the waist. I'll put on the pants now. See? It also has a white top with great big baggy sleeves that hang down nearly to my feet. The top wraps around and ties on one side, just like this. Yes, and don't forget these slippers for your feet and the red bow for your hair. Excellent disguise, Lauren. You make a wonderful shrine maiden. Shrine maiden? Oh, Lauren. I read about Shrine Maidens in Shadow Warrior by Tanya Lloyd Kai. They were fortune tellers who took care of the shrines built for followers of the Shinto religion. Because people believed Shrine Maidens had special magical powers, they were allowed to travel freely from town to town. That's right, little bug. And that is why a Shrine Maiden costume is a perfect disguise. Thank you for the costume, Dano. Reader, what does your disguise look like? Oh, look, Reader. You have a long, dark robe to wear. Go ahead and put it on. Great. That robe is really long. It reaches all the way down to your ankles. And this looks like a wide, white belt. Tie it around your waist, reader. Oh, yes, you look great. Finally, put on these long, white socks and sandals on your feet. Great. But, uh, what are you dressed as, Reader? Wait. Your disguise isn't complete yet. You're missing one thing. This. A big straw basket? What is that, Dano? Something to carry? Oh, no. This is not a basket. It's a hat called a tengai. It rests on the top of your head and will completely cover your face, Reader. It will also help hide you, Reading Bug, if you crawl right underneath. Yes, just like that. Good work. Oh, Reader, you look pretty silly in that great big hat. But it is an excellent disguise. Great job. Yes, you are disguised as a komuso, Reader, a traveling Japanese monk. Most people let komuso wander wherever they like, just like shrine maidens. So these are perfect disguises to help you get into the castle to find and rescue Fumiko. Help us get into the castle? Wait, Dano, aren't you coming with us? Lauren, the daimyo and his samurai are looking for me, and I am too recognizable to the daimyo to fool him. If I come with you, I will surely be recognized and we will all be captured. No, you three must enter the castle without me and distract the daimyo while I sneak in to find Fumiko and find a way for us all to escape. Can you handle that challenge on your own? I don't know. Reader, what do you think? Dano, what will we need to do? First, you need to get inside the castle by convincing the daimyo's guards that you are a harmless shrine maiden and komuso in need of food and shelter. Once inside, you must find and distract the daimyo while using your ninja observation skills to find Fumiko. An observation? Okay, Dano, but how will we recognize Fumiko once we're inside the castle? You will be able to recognize her by her soft voice and by the large purple pendant she wears around her neck, a gift to her from our mother. Okay, Dano, but where will you be? And how can we be sure the daimyo won't become suspicious of our disguises? You have proven to be skilled ninjas, and I am sure you will be successful in this task. 
But do not worry. I will also be nearby watching and keeping you safe, using my stealth ninja skills. Once you find Fumiko, just shout out my name, Dano, and I will come to assist you in escaping from the castle. Reader, let's practice that now. When I count to three, let's yell for Dano together. Ready? One, two, three. Dano! Dano! Very good. I will reappear as soon as you call for me. Now hurry, we are at the castle, and we must not waste any time, or else the Daimyo Samurai Army will return, and we will all be captured. Lauren, reader, reading bug, I must leave you now before I am seen. But remember, this Daimyo is very vain and loves flattery. If you compliment him and act impressed by his wealth and power, he is sure to trust you. Good luck, ninja friends. Reading bug, reader, Dana was gone again, and we are on our own, in disguise, outside of the cruel Daimyo's castle. I don't know about you, but I'm nervous. Are you ready for this scary mission? Maybe we should turn around and head back home. You there? Stop! Oh no, reader, we've been spotted. It looks like we have no choice but to go along with Dano's plan. Oh, excuse me. I did not recognize you from far away, but now I see you are only a shrine maiden and a kamuso. I meant no disrespect, but my daimyo does not like being bothered by strangers. Why are you here at his castle? Oh, kind castle guard, you are correct. We are just a simple kamosu and shrine maiden travelers along this road. We have heard tales of your daimyo's, uh, generosity, and we were hoping he might allow us a night of food and shelter as relief from our long journey. My daimyo's generosity? <laughs> I, I mean, um, yes, generosity, uh, quite right. But how can I be certain that you are who you say you are, and not some enemy trying to enter the castle and trick us all? We come in peace. We are tired, and we are hungry, and we need to find food and shelter before we continue on our journey. That's all. Please, show us some kindness. Yeah, of course, of course. My apologies. As I said, my daimyo does not like strangers, but I am sure he will make an exception for you. You are clearly harmless. Please follow me. Great job, Reader and Lauren. The guard was convinced by your disguises, and we're on our way into the castle. Remember to use your ninja observation skills to try and find Fumiko once we're inside. Look at this castle, Reader. Daimyo, I, I'm very sorry to interrupt, but this kind, defenseless shrine maiden and Kumoso found their way to our castle in search of food and shelter. And I have let them in for the night. You what? At a time when my land and my money is under attack from my enemies known and unknown? When the escaped samurai Dano is loose and uncaptured on my land? When it is impossible to trust even my own family? You thought it wise to let strangers into my castle? Is that what you thought? I, um, y yes, I, I... Lauren, quick, we need to do something or else I'm sure we'll be thrown out along with the guard who let us in. Oh, powerful and mighty Daimyo, please do not fault your guard who was simply showing us a kindness. We have heard so much about your kindness, compassion, and generosity. We simply had to visit on our long and strenuous journey. Word of your impressive legacy has traveled far and wide, and there are so many stories about how handsome and courageous and generous you are, and of course, about what a great warrior and an inspiring leader you are too. We pleaded with your guard to be allowed to be in your presence for one short night while we rest and before we go on our way to visit the land of the other, much less powerful and handsome daimyos. My daimyo, listen to them, please. I can sense that they are good and kind and mean you no harm. Please do not hurt your guard or these kind travelers. Lauren, listen to that soft voice behind us. Do you think that might be Fumiko? Yes, great observation, Reading Bug. Her voice is soft, just as Dano said it would be. I can't see her, but it sounds like she's just behind us, maybe 20 or 30 feet away. Hmm, 
Okay, yes, you're right, Shrine Maiden. I should not blame this lowly guard for allowing me to fulfill your destiny of meeting me. Guard, you may leave and return to your post. Oh, thank you, great time, yo. Shrine Maiden, I am delighted, but not surprised, to hear that my reputation has spread to other parts of this great country. And I accept your gratitude for my great beneficence. Thank you, Daimyo. Your, uh, beneficence is great. But, of course, I am sure that you are aware, when a generous Daimyo like me offers hospitality to a traveler, the traveler is expected to present him with a gift in return. Perhaps a jam, an exotic blend of teas, or a silk robe. Surely you would not have been so foolish as to have forgotten to bring me a gift? What treasure have you brought me for the kindness I have shown you? Reader! Reading bug! Oh no! I don't have anything for him! Do you? Oh no! We don't have anything at all! Except my book bag and we can't give him that! What about the song you sang to Dano? Remember? Dano said, The gift of a song is more valuable even than riches or jewels. Do you think that would work? I don't know. But we'll have to try. Well? Uh, Daimyo, uh, we did not bring treasures with us on our trip. You didn't? Because even if we had, no treasure would be magnificent enough to give to the greatest Daimyo in Japan. The greatest Daimyo. I do like the way that sounds. However, uh, I do have a gift for you that I would like to humbly offer. Reader, reading bug. Follow my lead. As I sing, let's all back up and get closer to Fumiko. As soon as the song is over, we'll call for Dano and make our escape. Okay, Lauren. Oh, great and powerful Daimyo, I wrote this song just for you. Would that suffice as a gift for this momentous occasion? A song all about me? Yes, yes. Magnificent shrine me. Perhaps my samurai can sing this song tomorrow when they march into battle. Yes, I want to hear your song. In fact, I order you to sing it to me now. Of course, Daimyo. Listen closely while I sing. My friends and I have traveled far To learn about just who you are We see that you aren't strong or wise You just make trouble with your samurais You lead with fear, make others cower To gain more wealth and steal more power You hurt your people, drive them apart To feel an emptiness that's in your heart Wait a second, that's not very nice Reader, keep backing up with me. We've got to find out if that was Fumiko speaking. It's not too late to use your might to work for peace instead of fight. If you choose kindness, you'll get far more than you'll ever get through waging war. It is Fumiko. She's wearing the purple pendant. Fumiko, hi. We're friends of Dano's here to rescue you. Friends of Dano? Yes, and he is nearby. Move with us towards the door as I sing. Your name will be known throughout the ages. A leader who fought for peaceful changes. Goodbye, farewell, my song is done. And now I really, really need to run! Reader, reading bug, on my count. Let's call for Dano. Are you ready? One, two, three. Dano! Dano, you're back. Look, we found Fumiko, but quick, we need to make our escape, now! Dano? Can it be? You have returned? Fumiko, yes, I have returned for you! Quickly, follow me and my friends. We must escape the daimyo before his samurai return. Quickly! Dano? My escaped samurai? Is it you? You dare to return to my castle? Enough! Samurai warriors, quickly, capture these traitors! Samurai, where are you? Lauren, reading bug, reader. You have used your ninja skills of stealth and observation on our journey. But I'm afraid now is the time to use the final skill I taught you as we make our escape. Do you remember? Power? Yes, power. Follow me. Ninjas practice jumping high. 
Can you jump and touch the sky? A jump may save your life, you see, when you're chased by a dime you'll bully. Oh, never mind. I don't need my worthless samurai. Come here, you. Quick, Raider, Fumiko, jump over the daimyo's arms as he reaches for us. Everybody, jump like this. Hi-ya, 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 hi-ya. Hi-ya. Ooh. He's still after us. Watch out. Ninjas kick when they have to fight. First the left leg, then the right. Kicks break doors and windows too. It's amazing what a kick can do. <laughs> I've got you cornered now. Quick, as we try to escape the daimyo, a couple of powerful kicks. Okay, now. Kick, kick, kick. Hiya, hiya, hiya. Ow, ow, ow. We're almost at the castle door, but he's still on our tail. Your hands are knives that slash through the air. They are weapons that your enemies fear. And now that your ninja training is done, one last swing and this fight is won. Come back here. No. Okay, one last swing of your arms, reader. Almost made it. Ready? Just like we practiced. Kick and slash. Hiya, hiya, hiya. Ah, great. We're out. Quickly, slam the door behind us. We all worked hard on our ninja drills and perfected our powerful fighting skills. We're stealthy, observant, and powerful too. And we rescued Fumiko like good ninjas do. Hooray! Fumiko, Dano, Raider, Raiding Bug, we made it. We're free. Dano, can it really be you, my brother? You have traveled back to rescue me from our cruel and greedy daimyo? Thank you. But who are these brave ninjas who have helped you on your dangerous mission and to whom I owe my freedom? Fumiko, my name is Lauren, and this is the reading bug and our reader friend. I'm so happy to meet you. Our friend and sensei Dano has told us all about you. Sensei? Dano, you are a magnificent sensei. I've never seen better trained ninjas in all my life. Wow, thank you. Thank you. That's very kind. And these ninjas are also kind and compassionate, not heartless and cruel like some ninjas. I remember I used to dream of becoming a ninja when I was a young girl. My sister, we shared those dreams, didn't we, as we played together. And I am here to tell you that your dreams can finally come true. They can? But how? Tonight, we will steal away far from this place to the secret training school of my sensei, Chiyomo. Chiyomo is a ninja and a trainer of ninjas. She does not engage in combat or destroy homes or villages like other ninjas. Instead, she teaches her ninjas to read and write. She teaches us self-defense, first aid and survival skills. And most important, her ninjas return to their villages in disguise to secretly teach skills to their friends and neighbors and to help them break free of the oppression of their daimyos. Chiomo is creating an army of ninjas, sister, men and women, who use their skills and knowledge for the good of their communities. And we will join her on this important mission and continue the education you left behind as a child. Oh, Dano, it is more than I could have ever wished for. Thank you, thank you, my kind brother. But what about you, brave ninjas? Will you come with us to study with Chiyomo? Oh, yes. You are brave, skilled, and loyal. And with more training under Chiyomo, you could become legendary ninjas known across all of Japan. Dano, what a tempting offer. But I'm afraid our adventure with you and Fumiko must end here. We need to get back to our homes and our families and leave you to spend time with yours. Yes. Thank you for your help and for the ninja training, Dano. This was one of the most exciting adventures I've ever had. You showed true friendship by rescuing Fumiko. I am in your debt. Another haiku. Thank you, Dano, and good luck to both of you as you continue on your journey to Chiyomo's ninja school. Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye, my friends. Goodbye, brave ninjas. Wow, what an adventure. I sure am glad I remembered to bring my book bag with me as we hike through Japan. It's time to hop back inside and head home again. Are you ready to go? Everyone hop three times with me, then into my book bag. 
Here we go. One hop, two hops, three hops, and we're in. We've had a big adventure within our book bag, and I think we saved the day. We'll see you next time. Goodbye, book bag. Now it's time to fly away. It's working. Look, reader, the daimyo's castle has disappeared. And the hands on my watch are spinning again, but this time they're spinning forward, carrying us back to the future, to our homes and families. It sure was amazing to go on such an action-packed adventure today, to learn ninja skills from Dano, to make a daring rescue, and to escape from the daimyo's castle. When we get back, I hope you'll show the illustrations you create to your family and friends, and tell them all about our trip together. What was the part of our adventure that you'll remember the most? I'll never forget disappearing from sight as the scary samurai army approached us. Or dressing up in costumes to trick the guard and get us into Daimyo's castle. If you enjoyed today's adventure, like I did, and want to have more ninja adventures, you can find a list of the ninja and samurai books in my book bag at www.thereadingbug.com adventures. Okay, reader, look, we made it back home! You were a natural at being a ninja. You learned skills from Dano and used them to help rescue Fumiko. And you taught the mean daimyo a lesson about kindness, too. When you're a reader, you're a leader. You're ready to learn about everything as you grow. You'll show this world that you can be anything. You could write a book or fly a plane. Build a house with a giant crane Whatever you do, one thing will be true There's nothing you can't do You can see it through Just by being you Cause you're a reader, you're a leader You're ready to learn about everything As you grow, you'll show this world that you can be anything You could sing your way into a Broadway show Don't let anyone tell you no Whatever you do, one thing will be true There's nothing you can't do You can make your dreams come true Just by being you Thank you for all your help The Reading Bug and I have got to be going now But we'll see you again really soon For another super fun adventure Say goodbye, reading bug. Goodbye, reader. See you soon. Goodbye. It's a reading bug adventure. There's lots of fun in store. Just inside our book bag, there's new places to explore. Grab your crayons and paper and your imaginations, too. The reading bug and I can't wait to share our trip. Thank you for joining us on our adventure today. I'll begin playing coloring music in just a minute. And while you get ready to color some beautiful illustrations of all the things we saw and did on our trip to Japan, I have a few people to thank. Today's episode of Reading Bug Adventures is sponsored by Imagination Press, creators of Yes I Can, A Girl and Her Wheelchair, by Kendra Barriott, Jacqueline Toner, and Claire Freeland. Thank you, Imagination Press, for your support. And thanks to all our individual sponsors as well. If you're interested in becoming a patron, visit our page at patreon.com and learn about how you can support Reading Bug Adventures and get exclusive music downloads, content, goodies, and more. Thank you for listening to Reading Bug Adventures. I'm Lauren Savage, and today's adventure was an original story written by Diane and Brandon Savage. This episode was performed by me and by Chloe and Brandon Savage, John Savage, Rob DeCruz, and Dan and Shannon Shern. Original music was performed by me, Ross Gruet, and Dan Shern. Sound mixing and mastery was by Resonate Recordings. The Reading Bug is our family-owned independent children's bookstore in California, and we're passionate about educating, entertaining, and engaging children of all ages. Learn more about us at thereadingbug.com and our personalized subscription box service at readingbugbox.com. And please support passion, expertise, and creativity in children's literature by continuing to shop with us or other local independent booksellers. Thank you. Mm-hmm.